Hello there and welcome back to Strategy Command World War 2. War in Europe as we continue our fight to the last bullet against allies on expert difficulty level. We have all bonuses maxed as we are trying to restore the Roman Empire borders under the leadership of our noble leader Benito Mussolini. Both the Holy City and Amman were liberated last turn. Also Kiev were taken by our German friends and the Italian flank in the north conquered Riga last turn. Which is no small feat. We are going to advance. We are going to advance against Leningrad as well. As soon as we are able to do this. And I hope that we'll be able to take them down. Pretty handedly. Now we are going to go into Crimea. But we are going to go into towards Rostov as well. Because we need to get to that valuable oil in both directions. We'll see what's going to wait for us in Iraq from the British side of things. I've tested Syrian attack. It would increase USA readiness by 15% around. So we cannot do that. We will spend this time on liberating Cyprus. And once for all, and for all the eastern Mediterranean will be secured by our forces, Roman forces. But, aside from that, it's time to jump to the next turn, I think. So let's do it. Let's see what the next turn will bring. Good. Palestine surrenders. Uh, I mean, liberate is liberated and Transjordan surrenders. Oh, interesting. What's that? I guess my tank will have to take a look and see. Long range development. Nice. So, command and control. Huge. 260. Norway is being raided. What's new? Sweden 21. 655. And going up. We still have a couple of most likely good weather turns. No point of loss, please. Good. Yeah, I need to take care of you. Mm -hmm. We should be able to encircle Daugav Pilis. For easier capture. Unfortunately, we lost a hell lot more, more points than was expected last turn. Whatever we want to do, folks. Keep at it. We have to guard these positions. Oh, really? I guess it's time to upgrade anti-aircraft defenses then. We don't want them to have a freebie like that. Hmm. Okay, so if they still got something. Take a point of loss, at least, yeah. And nice. 
Really? So we know what's our first priority here? Cutting off this guy. Oh, he's already cut off. Sorry. Four points appropriate. Of course, he took something out of us at zero supply. How fascinating. Nice. And here we go again. Ah, shame. And that's not going to work if you are going to run around like a little bitch. Yeah, I don't think that was too smart. September 23rd. October 4th. In Anchor. Hmm. Yep. Let's not forget to upgrade you. As well as you. Now, oh, research for the Italians. That has to happen. For the Germans. Ah, shame. Well, next turn will be a huge turn for research, it seems. But what I need to do is buy an HQ model. It will be our HQ to the west. Evacuate those locations. Operate this hex. With the moralization from this guy, we should be good. Now, I'm just going to take care of you. That would be huge if we were to able to destroy him, but yeah, you cannot have everything, I guess. Now, to Africa, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but... I'm sure we will learn at some stage. Operate. At least you are in range. Alright, I'm going to send this tank in. We'll deploy and clap him. Now oh, you are in supply once more. Interesting. Tell me, am I in supply now? Anyway, that should be good enough. One supply. Hmm.
I was hoping for a lucky one hit. Ugh. Eee. No, of course, because it's us. It's not going to pop. Might as well move forward if we are not going to get the supply required. you we have that So how in the hell are you not attached? Of course. And it's muddy. Hmm. Should be an easy kill and a capture. Let's take Chernihov if we can. Let's move it in here. That's a, not a great hex to attack from. Clap them, five points, about right. Mm -hmm. The fact that I cannot move into this hex is ridiculous. We need to take care of his zone of control. going to buy this bullet the good news he's down
Bye bye. Nice. Melitopol is ours and safe and secure. Hmm. Let's decrease his chances to destroy us. Let's keep it in mind. At least in the center. Now we know what's going to happen next around here. We'll see whether I have a room to upgrade you properly. Now. Let us advance. Who are you attaching to? No. I'm not going to waste you on that one. Good stuff. Ah, oh, that was re really good, actually. That's a bit scuffed, but we will leave. Dog of Pilis will fall next and move to Parno. For supply, just fuck freaking die. Good. It's the entrench. Oh. was that? I am not sure. Let's send him in. Pitex is open, that should force some reaction. And I don't think they will survive next turn. Hopefully. Anyway. I 
I didn't buy Garrison, right? Yeah. Need to keep that on our mind. Because as we can see, we will need them. And rather sooner than later. Let's move you up to here. Because that's going to be needed. Dnipropietrovsk has fallen. I cannot say the same about every other city, but tank will be done. Tank is done, the Soviet tank that is. Which is preferable. I think I'm going to send you south, but I'm not sure whether now or later. Dagav Piliski is cut off and will be dealt with swiftly before the winter, hopefully. We kind of don't have an army around here, which is bad news, but yeah. So it wasn't good weather in the Soviet Union. But good enough in the south. And we are able to capitalize on our gains. Let's move him to better supply and to reinforce him properly. Be able to operate HQ to Poutava. Next turn, for proper supply, as the next goal is to encircle Zaporozhia if they will not let go of the city control. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it sucks for this tank, but we have to go with what we have. Research is doing good. And it will be time to invest into naval warfare. From this cheat, but we'll spend a lot of cheats next turn and a lot of MPBs. So, spying and tanks is the first priority. Closer, as close as possible to the front lines. Not bad, not bad. One more HQ would be useful, but we'll have to wait. Level 3, level 4 is ongoing production tech. We are behind, it's pretty easy to tell because we are ga gaining like 9% from a single cheat. Yeah. But we'll continue to progress in this distinction. And after that is done, we go to Leningrad itself. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are going to redeploy and probably take care of Nicosia next turn. That would be very much preferable. Unfortunately, this guy will disappear on its own. But 
we will do what we have to do. And you are next on the line. Let's take a look at supplies. Yeah. Just stick to what we know. No entrenchment. Good deal. It will take care of that one. As well. And oil is opening up in front of us. How are, how is USI doing? Yeah, it will be like five more turns. Six till they join. But they will join. Rather earlier than later. And I think after we take the Agav Pilis, that will be the last turn. That will use this guy in here. I we'll have to relieve him properly. And we'll see how we shall proceed. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching as we continue our fight to the last bullet, to the last man against the evil allies. On expert difficulty level, that is. The Rome is starting to take its shape. From Tripoli to Amman, from Athens to Bordeaux and in 1942 we'll begin our campaign in the western Mediterranean to take care of all of that. Vichy France, Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, Algiers, Tunis will be taken under our control. That's the goal. In the east, Syria. Iraq will be taken under control in 1942 and for 1943 we will preserve the conquest of Turkey which will be well not the ending note of the campaign because as you can recall I think that England also should be taken and considered as core Roman land. So we will, of course, liberate it as well. That's the plan. I'm not sure whether it will happen, after all. Let's take a look at reports. Is the convoy route from Canada up? It is. So let's take a look. English MPPs? Well, they sent something to Soviet Union, so it will not be reliable now. But still, a hell lot more losses than collected income from the from the for the Brits. Soviet Union, as we can see, uh, a dip. They had a thousand MPPs from convoys. Let's take a look. Not that much, but a thousand MPPs at expert difficulty level, folks. That's ridiculous. They got the income from the event, of course, but still, 800 MPPs, only 60 from the convoy route. Well, we t took care of some mines, but there is still a hell lot more to take. Boroshilovgrad, our next target. And Rostov, that is. And in 1943, hopefully, we'll be able to take care take control over the oil fields in Caucasus. Maybe we'll reach Stalingrad. Let's take a look. They are building defenses in the Kalach. Moscow, of course, it's already built. Leningrad, we'll see. Nothing so far. The goal in the east will be for 1942 
and 1943 to secure oil fields before the day and before we have to deal with them, Western allies as well. Yeah. But anyway, for now that will be it. I will buy now, from now on, the garrison, garrisons from the miners, I think, because as you can see, they are not subject to the discount. And every MPP counts, folks. Our production level technology is growing after all. So we need to keep it in mind. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> no more talking. And I will see you next time.